What's good, YouTube? Dom, Steven Sports Cards here, back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. I have a, another present that I've been blessed with here from your friend and mine, John, over at 3D80s Kid. Uh, John has one of the best intros on YouTube, and he's someone that I really respect because that man hustles. He truly not only takes in a ton of content, but really knows how to pick out important details when he's watching a video and you can see that in his recap series over on the four collectors channel you can see that when he interviews fellow collectors pulling out nuggets from video past some of them that the creators almost forgot about it's really cool and uh, he's someone that i've been truly honored to get to know over this last year and a half on youtube john i said it when you texted me about giving me this it's totally unnecessary but I truly appreciate you thinking of me, my friend. It's a, it's a whole nother extra step going this far and, and sending me something uh, from your collection. There's a note. Dom, it's been great getting to know you this year via YouTube comments, texting, and live streams. I love your upbeat personality, and of course, most are in awe of the breadth of your cardboard knowledge. I wanted to give you a token of our friendship with this early card of your favorite president. And he put card in quotation marks, so I'm interested to see on what it is. I hope you enjoy it. I look forward to our interactions for years to come. Your friend, John Kaufman really awesome signature too john i love the notes uh i love when people add a note a card with it i have a whole little box and i will definitely be putting this in that pile now i know who is featured on this item but i don't know what james k polk item john decided to bless me with today oh wow so I immediately didn't know what year this was, but he left the seller tag on it to help me with that. This is a Y95 scrap pictures of James K. Polk from the U.S. President's DC Micro in the PSA 2. Look at that. That's sick. And you can tell, you can tell on the back of this how old it is based on that paper. That is that is sick. John, um, from an episode on your Four Collectors channel, uh, I did state that I don't have any cards uh, from the 1800s, any items. So this is now the oldest card photo piece of my collection. Uh, and I'm truly honored to own it. Uh, thank you so much for thinking of me. This is kind of what I was talking about. He, he picks up these little details and he's such a great listener in that way when he watches content. I said on a live stream or a video a long time ago uh, that James K. Polk was my favorite president. And Joe over at Four Soft Corners actually sent me a modern James K. Polk card in one of the care packages he sent me. And now I have a very vintage James K. Polk in the collection. That is so sick. And it even has 1845, which is when he took office, I believe. That is sick, man. A lot of you at our home probably asking, why is James K. Polk your favorite president? If you haven't clicked off the video already, of course. Um, James K. Polk is my favorite president because when you're going through school early on, elementary, middle school, they teach you a lot about U.S. history and the presidents. And the big names, Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, Roosevelt, uh, FDR, John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan, like they get a lot more uh, glitz and glamour and stories than the rest of them do. But when I was taught about James K. Polk, because I learned about a little bit about every president, his kind of fun fact and claim to fame was that when he was running for office, he presented a four-year plan, which most presidential candidates do, about things they want to accomplish while they're in office. But as most of you that are into politics more than me know, 
most presidents don't live up to the bill and get everything that they want done in that term and a lot of them will come back for the second term and say hey i didn't get this done because of xyz i know what i need to do to get it done re-elect me they use it kind of as a point to get them back in offices sometimes but james k polk was the first and i believe only president to set out a four-year plan and accomplish every single thing he promised and i don't know what that says about me but when i was a young kid learning about the presidents that really spoke volumes to me that he was someone that deserved my respect that he was someone that i should look more into and there's not a ton of write-ups about james k polk i researched him uh, for a middle school project uh, but he lived a pretty interesting life and was definitely a man uh, worth looking into if you're unfamiliar with him this obviously isn't from his presidential years, but it is a very old piece of paper and has a beautiful image for how old it is. So John, thank you, my friend. This is going to be a cornerstone of my early cardboard paper collection. I'm so blown away uh, by the generosity, Brad, Shane, um, people just thinking to send me something for the holidays, uh, but it's totally unnecessary. You guys watching, commenting, interacting with me, making this hobby go from something that was independent to a community thing where I made true lifelong friends, um, it's the best gift you can give. So I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Um, for those of you that celebrate, a week from today is Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everybody. And I will see you guys later this week with another VR. Keep collecting. And God bless.